Hello everybody, this is Joe the Geek, and it has been a long time since I've been behind the camera, but it feels good to be back. If you hadn't already noticed from this being a different area than I usually film in, I actually went through the process of moving over the summer, so that took a ton of time and energy, and I just really didn't have any time to create any content or videos for you guys. So I do apologize for the lack of content over the past few months, but I'm really excited to bring you guys a brand new video today. We are going to be unboxing the iPhone XS Max in the new gold color. This is the largest iPhone Apple has ever created, and I'm really excited to be unboxing it for you guys and taking a quick look at it and also compare it to the last year's iPhone 10. So without wasting any time, let's go. Let's go ahead and take the wrapping off, like that, and here it is, the box by itself. So without further ado, let's lift the lid and take our first look at the iPhone XS Max. So here we go, we'll do this slowly and easily. There we go, and we have the literature packet, as is common with all Apple devices, it says designed by Apple in California on there as you can see so there we go let's take this off and we should see the 10s max and there it is the iPhone 10s max and there's that huge six and a half inch display obviously it's all black right now so we can't see the complete display but that is one large device there that is really really going to be a nice screen to use on a daily basis. I'm really excited about the overall size of the 10s Max screen. It's just going to be a really nice experience. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. So we got the little pull tab here like usual. We'll go ahead and lift it out. And here it is. It is actually pretty surprisingly light for its size, I would say. Actually, wow, that's really, that feels really nice. And here is the gold color. Wow, that is certainly gold. Look at the sides of that. You can see it is very, very shiny. It looks like legit gold, to be honest, guys. This is really, really nice looking. Wow. It's almost, it looks like a perfect cross between gold and rose gold. Like, it's not super yellow, but it's not super pinkish either. There's the fingerprints ruining it already. <laughs> As is usual with glass. I really like the back color, too, on there. It's really, really nice. Just look at the light you can see there. That is a really, really nice gold. Very, very premium. And for a device that costs $1,249, it better look premium, let's be honest. So real quick, take a look at what we got in the box. In addition to the phone, we got the usual charging brick. No excitement there. We do get the um, ear pods, not air pods. Unfortunately, it'd be nice if they were air pods. Uh, and these are the lightning ones. We actually do not get the adapter anymore. So I guess Apple assumes that most people aren't using the three and a half millimeter headphones anymore. I'm sure plenty of people are, but they've decided not to include it in the box anymore. That was only for two years that they did that. It is no longer in the box. And we also have the uh, standard USB lightning cable. Nothing too exciting there. That's it for the box. Let's go ahead and take the wrapping off the iPhone and power it on and check out that six and a half inch display. So set it down here, do this nice and slowly for you guys. Always so satisfying. We'll do it this way as well. And there it is, the iPhone XS Max completely unwrapped and unboxed. That very, very nice gold color. And I mean, to be honest, this feels, it's big, but it doesn't feel horrible, especially since I've used a plus size iPhone before. Real quick, before we even turn it on, let's just compare the sizes here. This is the 10 in the silver color, and here is the 10s Max. So if you sit them on top of each other, I mean, that's a pretty decent difference, but it's not horrible. Considering you're getting a six and a half inch screen versus a 5.8 inch screen, this is really not a horrible jump. So now let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time. Here we go. There's the Apple logo on there. Wait for it to give us the setup screen so we can see the full effect of the six and a half inch screen. And 
and there it is. There is the full iPhone XS Max experience. Let's go ahead and just I'll just go to the settings app here on the 10, just so you can compare. That is a very, very large screen, and I also like the, one of the immediate things I noticed is you get more room on the sides of the notch there, which makes it feel even more immersive. As you can see there, uh, you got quite a bit more space next to the notch on the 10s Max than the 10, which is a nice benefit of having that larger six and a half inch screen. So let's go ahead and skip through the setup process here. I'm gonna actually restore from iTunes backup, so I'll just try to skip through this uh, as quickly as possible to get to that, and then I can show you guys it once I get it all set up. So we have the quick start option here. Well, I'm just gonna set up manually. I'll go ahead and do the Wi-Fi. We got the data and privacy screen here. They're telling you about uh, some of their privacy features and stuff like that, so I'll just go ahead and hit continue. So and now we have the option to set up Face ID. I'm actually going to go ahead and restore from the iTunes backup at this point, and then I will set up Face ID later. So I will be back in a bit. So here you go guys, the restore is in progress and you can see blurred out in the background there is that really cool wallpaper that is the default on the iPhone XS and XS Max. Okay guys, the restore has finished on the iPhone XS Max, so it now has all my data on it and I should be good to go. So now I can show you guys a little bit more of the device. So here it is compared to the iPhone X once again with the screens on. You can see there the size difference. Uh, it definitely is noticeable, but overall, I think like the screen size you can tell is bigger, but the overall form factor I wouldn't say is horribly, you know, that much more. So obviously if you want that bigger screen, I really don't think it's that much worse uh, in terms of form factor. Compare them here, you can see definitely a size increase, but not horrible in terms of the screen size uh, that you're getting. So there's the screens together. Once again, let's go ahead and check out the 10s Max by itself now. I'll go ahead and unlock it with uh, the passcode here. And here is the home screen. So as you can see, obviously a lot more space between the icons than on the normal iPhone 10. I'll go ahead and pull that up here and you can see definitely more room for the wallpaper, which is really nice because uh, you can see just a little bit more of that wallpaper there and just a little more expansive, just gives you more space overall, which just is a lot nicer to have. And in terms of one-handed use, this still is not horrible uh, to use one-handed. Obviously, like to reach the top corner will take a little bit of stretching uh, there's always the reachability that you can use uh, if you absolutely need to, but I don't think I'll have too much of a problem using this one-handed. In terms of typing, pretty easily looks pretty good. Uh, and then reaching uh, the top corners again, it's a little bit of a stretch, but nothing horrible. And definitely worth it considering this is a six and a half inch screen in your pocket, which is crazy to think about. And real quick, I just want to show you guys the new camera feature that allows you to adjust the depth of field after taking the photo. I just took this photo, just of a Lego minifigure here on the desk. It's not the best photo in the world, but it will show off the feature if you tap edit on here. You will now see this screen that says depth. It has a slider that you can adjust, as you can see here. And now I can just slide and adjust the depth of field. So you can see a really uh, low f-stop number right there, 1.4. That makes it super blurry. It gives a ton of bokeh there. And then as I go out to f-16, it basically takes away the motion or the, the bokeh blur there. So as you can see there, I can scroll and just adjust the depth of field and the amount of blur that I want, which is really a fascinating feature, something that you know, in photography, it really has not been able to be done on a mobile device really at this point. So really, really cool to be able to do that now in your pocket. And I can see this really being cool in a lot of situations uh, when you want to use that portrait mode to get that nice blur on the background. And before I go, I just wanted to show you guys this new Apple leather case for the 10s Max. This is the new Cape Cod blue color. Very, very nice lighter shade of blue. I'm really excited to see how this looks with the gold. I always love the Apple leather cases. Uh, they always just look really nice and have that nice premium feel. It's definitely my favorite case for the iPhone because it still feels premium uh, because we have to cover up the really nice design. It's nice to have at least something else that looks nice on the outside of it. So let's go ahead and put the case on and we'll see how it looks. Pop it in there and definitely very, very nice. I love that nice blue color. And you can still see the gold there, which is nice. And just a little bit of the gold in the camera ring, not too much. Uh, but yes, that looks definitely very, very nice there for sure. Looks uh, very good. On the 10s Max, the new Cape Cod blue color of leather case. So that is just about it for the iPhone 10s Max unboxing. As you can see, all my apps are still waiting to load. Quite a bit of them have downloaded already, but that is definitely gonna take quite a while, as you can see there. Um, but other than that, 
everything looks to be very good on the 10s max so far i'm really liking the larger screen uh, coming from the uh, 10 after being on a 7 plus the year before that it's really nice to have a larger screen again i like uh, the look of the larger keyboard for sure it's nice and wide and just having that extra spacing between icons that extra space just is really nice to have so i'm very glad to be on the larger size iphone uh, once again so that is it for this video guys this has been an iphone 10s max unboxing and first look thank you so much for watching be sure to comment and let me know what you think of the iphone 10s and the iphone 10s max did you pick one up and also let me know your thoughts on the video stay tuned for more videos like this i hope to have a review of the iphone 10s max in the coming months so be sure to stay tuned for that and other tech videos like this be sure to subscribe if you have not already and leave me a big thumbs up down below again thanks so much for watching god bless and have an awesome day